we have the motion approved by Councillor Morial, second by Councillor Delorier. Resolve that the agenda for the August 15th regular meeting council be received. All in favor? The motion moved by Councillor Morio, second by Councillor Jacobson, resolved the minutes for the August 1st, 2017 regular meeting council be adopted as received. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Okay, the first item on your agenda is basically for Council's information. It's the letter from Manitoba Infrastructure and Transportation regarding the Community Emergency Preparedness Award and applications. And two of the winners were in 2016, and I want to recommend anybody for 2017. So basically for Council's information. Okay, we'll go to item 4-2 uh, on your agenda, the letter from STARS Rescue, and they're having, they're planning somebody on an island someplace as a fundraiser for STARS and looking for pledges. It's going to take $50,000 in pledges for STARS to rescue this person from the island. Are we have any interest in that? So this is the CAO of the Arm of St. Anne is getting dropped off on an island. Huh? Are, are you signing up for this next? Maybe. <laughs> My nephew did it. Wow. If we were more into responses on the STARS ambulance, that were more useful, more mm -hmm. consideration. But since we're. Right Does it ever come here, Councillor Moore? Uh, not for primary response. The only time they come in is for stable patients um, in the hospital when the, the jets are busy. Um, so we rarely see them here, maybe once, twice a year. Okay, the next item in your agenda is the letter from uh, Manitoba, the Minister of Indigenous and Municipal Relations, indicating that we received a grant of $16,667, and it's for the upgrade at the Veterans Community Hall, and it consists of matching funding from the provincial and federal governments. Uh, so that project at the Veterans Hall. Is it ongoing or has it been completed? Uh, no, um, we had requested money to upgrade the washrooms, okay. so we have multiple washrooms that need upgrading. Okay. Item 4 4 on your agenda Museum Harvest Fest is on this weekend. Is anybody planning on attending? Usually, Councillor White goes. I do too, but it's a Saturday, so. Is it? Yeah. It is. So I can't go this year. I think I indicated on your Facebook page that I would attend, but for some reason I didn't look at the date. I was assuming it was a Sunday. You always have it on Sunday. Yes. yes. I'll have to see if I can change my schedule. Go to item 5 1 on the agenda Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. We have a resolution moved by Councillor Morio, seconded by Councillor Jacobson, whereas prostate cancer is the most common cancer to affect Canadian men, and whereas one in seven Canadian men will be di diagnosed with the disease in his lifetime, and whereas an estimated 23,100 Canadian men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer this year, and whereas the survival rate for prostate cancer can be over 90%. Undetected early, and whereas those with a family history of the disease or those of African or Caribbean descent are at a greater risk of developing prostate cancer, and whereas prostate cancer rec Canada recommends that men get a PSA test in their 40s to establish their baseline. Therefore, be it resolved that September 2017 be proclaimed Prostate Cancer Awareness Month in the town of Swan River. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Okay, item 5-3 on your agenda. The, you know, I didn't come off my screen here. Did yours lock up? Installed. Just it's a big file to update. It's taking a while. Anyway, we have the resolution moved by Councillor Morio, second by Councillor Jacobson, 
resolve a proposed subdivision of part of southeast quarter of section 2136-27 west, lot 9 SP plan 321 Dauphin land titles office, and the number by Manitoba Municipal Government Community and Regional Planning Branches file number 4455-17-7385 be hereby approved with the following conditions. One, a variation order be issued, reducing the size width of setback of the party wall from five feet to zero feet for the shared wall. Discussion? Councilor Morial. Um, I just got to commend these guys for actually doing this portion of the stuff on the front end um, of their project before the shovel hits the ground versus some of the other projects where it's on the back end as we saw last meeting. So um, my appreciation for these developers for doing stuff on the front end versus the back end. But no, no, this is nice. no concerns. All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Okay, we have the Superintendent Works Report. <coughs> Any questions to Derek? 13, the majority of the work is done. No. Yeah, they're finished. The last compactor was sent to them today. We've noticed, uh, as I explained, there are three spots where there's some pretty high clay content in the base. It could have been just a spot in the pile, but uh, we will have to go back and Depends on how it dries up. It's, it's pretty wet, so we'll let it dry and look at it. But we may have to just take out the three, four, five meter spots just to play with and replace it with some better material. And that was a base provided by uh, Camels. <coughs> do we do anything for dust control now? Yeah, I've been talking to Fort Distributors, see if they're back in town just to see prices on what it would take to give that a shot, which would tighten that up for the rest of the year. And we're so not doing curb and gutter on that this year. That's that's for next year. So, <coughs> so it's thirteenth open land, yeah. Thirteenth, we we just put just to dry it out in those clay spots. Uh, we did put one barricade, but people are going around and parking in their driveways. So we just put one barricade in the center for local. Tra I don't even know if we put the local traffic when we signs up, but uh, people are going around and parking in the driveways. It'll so be open tomorrow. So that project, it was supposed to be roughly for the month of July. What's the biggest reason why it has dragged into the second week of August? Uh, it was definitely the, the at the beginning we had lost four days for the storm sewer collapse and then probably two days for uh, the, the several meters that had to be regraded. So there's six working days, so that's a week and a day. Other than that, we had a few rain days in there where things were going slow, but uh, we did estimate for working hours seven weeks, and I think we came in at just over eight, like eight a day. So we are a week over, uh, but there are content there was a contingency money in there. I, I haven't, uh, you know, there's still bills to pay and stuff, so things look on track so far. Councillor Morrow and Councillor um, Laurier. Be this 6th Avenue West, that capital project with that storm drain, is that in your next project to tackle this year? Yep, and we're, we're simply just waiting on Lafarge for the concrete sector. Where are we out, AE in the group study? Right now they have all the information. Uh, we actually had a discussion on it today. They're literally just going through our last rate study and uh, they're gonna. Our, this one's gonna look a little different. It's not gonna be so hard to decipher. That index was pretty complex, but this one will be like a book style that has nothing to do with the actual numbers. Uh, they're literally looking through the numbers right now. They're thinking it'll be probably beginning of September before we see something. Okay. Any other questions? Councilor Deloria. With, with the service that he's providing with the REITs, are they going to guide it through the PUB process as well? Or is that going to be up to us? They are in contact with the PUB. Okay. So they'll help us with that contact. But uh, we've kind of, you know, we've already told them that to avoid what's happened, any if there is any increase like in their future, that uh, 
that we do this 2% every two years forever instead of what just happened? Um, in their study, they're going to take into consideration the numbers from 2017. Like we have our audited statements back now, so we you, you mean 16? Or 2016, sorry. Yes. Yeah, we're in 2017, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, any other questions? Councilor Friesen. Um, if you could pass along a big thank you to the girls at the cemetery. The flowers are looking wonderful. Um, best they've looked in absolutely years. Um, then the hedge needs trimming badly out there if they could find the time to do that. Thank you. Okay. All in favor of the resolution? The handy van report. Any questions to Julie on the handy van report? The motion moved by Councillor Memorio, second by moved by Councillor Deloria, second by Councillor Moro. Result the handy van report for July 2017 be received. Discussion? All in favor? Building inspector report. I didn't receive a report. It's in our mailbox. Any questions? We have the motion moved by Councilor Morio, second by Councilor Delorie. Resolved that the building inspector report be received. Discussion? All in favor? Carried. So, Derek, you will talk to that. Person, I gave you that phone number about uh, Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we'll fix that. Okay, you also have the management meeting to meetings that are posted online. Any questions to Julie? Councilor Delorean and then Councilor Jacobs. Uh, I just want to make a comment. I like the name change. I, you know what? Some people say oh, it's just a name of or goes by any other name, it's still a small sweet, but I think there's a lot of name. It sets a tone. And I think that's you were, that was a good move on your part. Councilor Jacobs. Uh, Julie, I uh, contacted RBC about a credit on a bank account. Yeah, we had, sometimes we have uh, you know, credit, like some revenue that shows up on our bank account, but we don't have the paperwork to go along with it. So um, um, I think that one, I might be wrong on that, but it might have been something that was meant for the, um, the curling. I know we had something going on with that. We received some money for the, the curling uh, deal that's happening in town in November. Okay. So sometimes it happens, you know, uh, the government sometimes get to our municipality except with Small Valley West. So we'll receive this money and it's like, okay, what is it? We need to know what it is in order to be able to code yeah, it. Absolutely. Yeah. So okay. that's what that was about. No, no. Okay. Then CEO and the members reports. Councilor Friesen reports. No. No, I have nothing to report. Councilor Morio. Uh, I had no uh, committee meetings report except we just met with. The uh, kids may club with the Splash Park or just before today's meeting, which uh, went very well. And um, I just noticing that there's, if we can do something like a thank you note or something like that to some uh, people or whatever, that I see that are going above and beyond what expected or expected of them or whatever for like cleaning their yards. Or uh, the other day I saw two ladies um, on their hands and knees trimming the sidewalk, the grass overgrowing and things. So. I see here too. And it's like, it's like they're taking pride in making um, the community look um, presentable and stuff like that, especially on the heels of community and blue. But I think perhaps we, after the seminar, we could put an article in the paper. Mm -hmm. it's, um, but when we see individuals doing that and stuff like that, are going beyond um, to help make the community look attractive to attract stuff versus uh, um, others, I think they should be recognized that at least it's just like a simple postcard thank you or something like that. Or, Accepted them. It's an expensive thing. I think it would go a long way. In Do you know who it was? I don't know if I can find out. 
If you find out, I have postcards that communities in blue we have made with our pictures on it, like the swan and something anyway. Just if you let me know, I'd be happy to do it. Okay. That's all. Councilor Deloria. Um, only thing that I've been up to is I uh, had the meeting with the Splash Park uh, people earlier today. Um, I'm just glad that they are taking it upon themselves to try and further their project without using uh, any tax dollars. So, or at least that's the the hope that and I'm glad they're on board with that or seem to be anyway. So, so that uh, I, I think it's a wonderful project and I'm glad it's it's moving forward. So, I. Uh, Hope the community gets involved behind it. That's it for me. Council Jacobson. Nothing really. I've been a little, little bit on holidays here in the last couple of weeks. Uh, no committee meetings. Uh, but the same thing again with the Splash Park. You know, we've met with them a, a few times uh, among one of the committees with them. But they have a lot of work ahead of them as far as the, you know the shape, the shape and size and location and so on. But uh, <coughs> they got their, they got. They know where they're moving towards, so there's a lot of work for that. I'm sorry, talk so free. I thought of something. Um, I have talked to two of the executive of the Ag Society, and they're going to take to their general meeting the uh, request for an off leash dog park over there. A couple of things I had on Friday, I attended the 100th anniversary celebration of Seventh day Adventist Church, 100 years being the swan river that one. An old gold ending, but Roy Jameson is the pastor at Seventh-day Adventist Church. So that was good, along with our MLA who was there. And um, uh, last night I attended the Vet Services Board meeting. The big news there is the Vet Services Board has paid off the loan on the building, so the building is now free and clear. The decision of the committee was to keep the amount and put it in the reserve fund because there are some issues with the roof that want to be built. So I kind of think going back to the municipalities will Reserve fund. And tomorrow we have the signing of the Sapphire Cremation at 11 o'clock yes. at the site. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who goes? Can we all go? Can we all go? 11 o'clock tomorrow. Oh, one other thing, okay, and probably would have to get it in tomorrow, but on Friday the Conservation District is having their tour. If anybody's interested in going, we'll probably have Julie call over tomorrow. Anybody else interested? I was looking at going and stuff like that, but I got to sort out some conflicts in the agenda. But uh, mm -hmm. at this point, uh, unless I can get confirmation on another appointment, I will be with them. Okay, so have our, got a resolution coming forward. So you just put your name on it and you con contact them. Oh, okay. It says to bring a lawn chair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Julie, mm -hmm. any reports? Well, I was just going to comment on the NDSA signing. I have uh, um, finished up uh, the agreements, made copies, ready for the signing tomorrow. And um, the Star and Times column are uh, the town's turn. Uh, next turn is September 19th. So I was wondering uh, which one of you would like to. Uh, Probably my turn. Because right? I haven't done one for a while. Oh, I'll write oh, something. Okay. So you want to do it? Sure. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And that's all. Okay. So we'll go to other resolutions. The motion moved by Councilor Delorier, second by Councilor Morio, resolve the council's follow up hereby approved for payment. General Council check two one zero three six to two one one three one for a total of one million nine hundred fifty five thousand eight forty two thirty. And payroll account from check 4038 to 4044 for a total of 120,422.67. Questions to Julie? Councilor Morial. Uh, two checks. Um, check number 0021041 to Turton Drywall. Um, are we building something or fixing something? Is drywall? As I see, there's other related checks for plumbing shop, and stuff. Yeah. And, the shop? Um, see you right there. It, it looks like we have some type of construction project get paid or fixed or something. We have electricity and plumber and drywall. Hmm. Like to Chris, is that Chris? Uh, there's Turton drywall and then we have uh, Riddles and Debrith electric and things like that. So 
don't know if they're all related or something. But he's doing something in the San Peter room. I was going to say, are they doing something in the arena? I know he's down there. It's on it looks like we're fixing something up, but I just yeah. don't know what that is. Stamp Peter's dressing room. Thank you. And then Councilor Jacobs. When Councilor Morial's done. And then the second check was 0021104 uh, to the 2018 Canadian Mixed Championships for 8500 Oh, that was the revenue that had come to us. That was one of the ones that we were questioning, yeah. Uh, when so. I see another one, I'm thinking, did we? I thought we weren't going to buy or we discussed those ad things. And we yeah, no, it got direct deposited into our account. So we had to write a check to it. That's what happened there. Any other questions? Councilor Jacobs. Uh, first of all, going back to the check that was written for some repairs in the Stamp Peter yes. dressing room, is that repairs that have been budgeted for repairs? Uh, it's um, it's actually an uh, insurance claim. Oh, so they're still dealing with an insurance claim? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and I believe we already got the insurance money to cover the cost for okay. it. Yeah. Just as long as that's... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I have a question uh, about the... Let me see that. Let me share. Uh, check number 0021051. For sixteen eighty and ninety two cents. Who's it to? Is to Lindsay Cook. Lindsay or Cameron Cook. Yeah, that was their their second year okay. um, for the incentive. Program. I thought that's what it was, but I <laughs> thought something else, so that's fine. I'm good. Okay. All in favor of the resolution? It's carried. Motion moved by Councilor Delore, second by Councilor Morial, resolved that the 2017 tax sale be held at 2 p.m. on September 13, 2017, and that the 2016 that 2016 be the designated year as the year for which the property is taxed in respect of which are in arrears for the year be offered for sale by auction to recover the tax arrears and cost. And further, be it resolved that Thomas on to place a reserve bid on all properties up to the amount of tax arrears and costs. Discussion. Favor? Okay, uh, item 73 on your agenda. You have the quotes from the different accounting firms. Some declined to submit uh, a bid or a tender on the thing, and uh, we have a resolution to accept one, but it doesn't say which one. Um, uh, Passat Cole Hardy and Company was the lowest tender? No, no, no. They're, not, they're not the lowest tender, but they're the only one that met the stipulated Everything. deadlines. Yeah. And I just did some looking, comparing the two notes uh, from what Julia provided, looking at what their last year's cost was to what the next year's proposed with the restructuring of dropping. That's a, it's a $6,200 reduction, it looks like. The total invoice when we compare the two. So, mm -hmm. so based so on. So, who are we recommending? They are not allowed to make recommendation. We have to figure it out for ourselves. Okay. So that's what I'm talking oh. about the council. Oh. Okay. Um, I suggest going with passive full hardy because, um, as an accountant, um, firming and stuff like that, if uh, um, we have deadlines in place that we need to meet and stuff like that and they're the only ones that have indicated that they will meet them. Um, it's, it's, it's up to the other firms to indicate if they could meet them or not and stuff like that. So uh, that they, they, I don't know if it was an oversight or something that they missed in the details of them writing their submission. But, uh, if it was, then there's only one firm that they quote that actually met our requirements and actually indicated exactly what it was. So. I'm, not, I'm not positive, but it could be something like the the PUB requires mm -hmm. us to uh, have, like if we run a deficit the prior years, we have to have an application for deficit recovery in by, 
believe May 15th, but yes. they know we can't get our audits done according to PSAP rules by like the beginning of July. So just for something else that isn't ready or whatever it is, but I know Terry has told me of, of, of a few things, the deadlines that the province has right now, they just simply can't be met. Mm -hmm. So if we set those deadlines and they already know what we, we know we can't meet that, mm -hmm. that could be the reason for them to know. I think <clears> the handy <throat> transit and the airport commission, those were separated out because of those specific funding guide deadlines um, versus the towns. So, so there was only two that indicated that they had special deadlines. So, um, I think uh, as detailed as accountants are, if they read the tender and what we require, and if they can't stipulate that in their tender process, um, if it's an oversight or not, at least to the quality of work or, or whatnot. So. Any other comments? I, I would be fine to also suggest the uh, uh, passive core party company for those reasons. Yeah. And when you add up everything from last year to what's the new proposal that is a sixty two per hour difference. Yeah. And we know why. I thought I was hoping for a, a bigger reduction, but it's a reduction. It's a reduction. And it's a pretty good reduction too, really. So and they are local yeah. and more okay. sensitive. So we have the motion moved by Council Tory, second by Councilor Morrow, resolve the Town of Salt River accept the audit proposal for the fiscal years ending December 31st, 2017, 18, and 19, submitted by Passac Coal Hardy and Company. Discussion? All in favor? Carried. The motion moved by Council Tory, second by Councilor Morrow. Resolve the annual contribution to the Swan Valley Health Facilities Foundation for doctor retention and recruitment in the amount of sixty-two thousand eighty-two twenty-three be approved for payment. Discussion? This is the last year on that. And then it has to be negotiated. Or just automatically moves down to its previous level. Yeah. All in favor? Motion moved by Councillor Delorean, second by Councillor Morial, resolve the Swan Valley Historical Museum financial statements for the year ending December 31st be received. Discussion? All in favor? The motion moved by Councillor Delorean, second by Councillor Morial, resolve the Swan Valley Historical Museum, Inc. Annual grant the amount of four thousand be approved for payment. Discussion? All in favor? Carried. The motion moved by Councillor Friesen, second by Councillor Jacobson, result of Mayor McKenzie and Councillor Morial be authorized to attend the Swan Lake Watershed Conservation District Project Tour August 18th. Discussion? In favor? Did I miss something? You missed 7.7. .7. Let me just, wait, that was a handwritten one that I gave I just threw oh, that one in there. Oh, just stuffed it in there. Oh, I put it in there. I stuffed it in. Still panic. It's an health care, concrete and sequential, step-by-step. Getting all the details here. Okay. Uh, setting his world here. The motion moved by Councilor Deloria, second by Councilor Morio, resolved that the leave of the absence be approved as requested in the letter and passed to schedule A. Discussion? All in favor? The next deals with the approved the 
had in the recreation guide, the motion moved by Councillor Jacobson, second by Councillor Morio, resulted in town purchase a half page advertisement in the Swan Valley District Recreation and Star and Times 2017 2018 Recreation Guide in the amount of $235 plus, plus GST. And further, be it resolved that town purchased full page advertisement for the Aquatic Center in the Swan Valley District Recreation Commission and Star and Times 2017 2018 Recreation Guide in the amount of $340 plus GST. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? The motion moved by Councillor Jacobson, second by Councillor Morio. Result of CEO Councillor Morio and the safety officer and foreman be authorized to travel to Brandon on September 21st to consult with Brandon Airport Manager. Discussion? What this is resulting from in Transport Canada where officials were here and we're assessing our airport and there's a number of items they have to discuss with the airport manager and Brandon. With that, I would like, I will go, but uh, I will do it on my own dime since I have some other yes, issues with it. So. so does it go and take your name out of the resolution? Yeah. yeah. I don't want no stipend or anything for that day. Okay. okay. I'll still attend with you guys, but yeah. Yeah. all in favor? Thank you. All right. The motion moved by Councillor Jacobson, second by Councillor Morio, resolved that three members of the Communities in Bloom Committee be authorized to travel to the International Peace Gardens for the Communities in Bloom Conference held September 8th and 9th. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Thank you. The motion moved by Councillor Jacobson, second by Councillor Moore, resolve the financial statements for the month end June 2017 be adopted as received. Any questions to Julie? Any comments about the financial statements? I haven't gone over them already, but how are we looking? Are we on budget and track? Yeah, I didn't, nothing jumped out Jump at up. me when I went over them, and Terry hasn't, uh, Terry hasn't expressed that any concerns or flagged anything. No more council treatments or second. All in favor? moved by Councillor Jacobson, second by Councillor Delore, resulted in the fire chief be authorized to travel to Brandon, Manitoba to attend the emergency services instructor level one training on October 2nd, 6th. Discussion? Councillor Moore. I think this is a pretty good resolution and something good for Derek for Darren to do, which will actually will reduce costs to the fire department in the long run. He'll be able to do this. He'll be able to do a lot of the, the teaching and mentoring locally versus having to send the guys out. So it's a cost saving in the long run. So. All in favor? Okay. Mm -hmm. Motion moved by Councillor Fries and second by Councillor Jacobson, whereas the attached amounts receivable have been outstanding for some time. And whereas the town of Swan River Council feels that those amounts are uncollectible, therefore we resolve the amounts receivable in the amount of 9,966.01 as attached be written off. Discussion? First, Councillor Jacobson and then uh, DeLorean and Morgan. Are these several invoices or, or tax? Yeah, they, should, or tax they should be all attached there. Oh, okay. So they, they have been uncollectible for some time and, and there's no way for us to we've we've tried multiple times uh, with the one municipality um, to to get them to pay but they've they've had very little pickup from Valley Lines Recycle over the past couple of years they've kind of gone back and forth and uh, the CAO was unable to get her council to agree to pay those interests really? yeah and, we and the others that's sorry we had an agreement well, I couldn't find anything written. It was just something that was decided for the for you the. You can't. You couldn't. That wasn't that sure long. There was a written agreement. Sure, yeah, I did. Yeah. I can't find anything for that. We're, how do we keep track of agreements? 
We have an agreement, it's fine. Yeah. So, like, uh, you know, as far as having all the municipalities sign this agreement, I don't remember anything. About I have the news clip and clicking on my board. I'll look at exactly when yeah, that was. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and then the other two municipalities that haven't paid, we've phoned and left messages, we've resent the invoice over and over again. So the, so the Iron Mountain hasn't paid, and so the Valleylands doesn't pick up in Birch River or Callum or anywhere no, in there? they've been, I think it was once last year that they actually picked up. So where does the recycling go? Are they, they, the they had OSS come in, so they were using access now, yeah. And I'm Can not you sure. touch base with Valleylands and make sure that none of the recycling from these three municipalities are coming here? I, I did. And they're and no they longer can, picking up for those three municipalities. Yeah. So, yeah. But I, my comment was, if we, we were clearly message to these municipalities now that mm -hmm. this their, their recycle is not allowed to come to this facility until they yeah. clean on these invoices. So, so that we had nine municipalities at one time on there. So if these three dropped over we're down to six. The 2017 actually, cost actually we're down to three. Well, yes, because yeah. of the amalgamation, yeah. yes. So it's the just the town, Swan Valley West, and Manitoba's Bozeman. Okay. Confirm that with Bell. So Bell. are they aware now that the cost will just be shared between the three of us? Well, we're going to have to make them aware. Yeah. I just phoned uh, Valley Alliance to confirm this because they've been kind of off and on with some of these municipalities over the past couple of years. And, you know, every time we phoned, they kind of got a different answer. So. Councilman Jacobson. So, in light of that, I don't know if I'm comfortable writing these off yet. Okay. Um, I remember when we were doing this, we actually sat, there was a group of us that went and sat with the municipality of Ethelbert, mm -hmm. and, and of yes. course a few other ones too, we, we had a, these discussions. There was some type of an agreement, and I, I don't know about signing and all that, but we did have some kind of an agreement with them. Um, and I don't know the term and all that, but definitely right now I, I'm not comfortable with saying they're going to write this off. Okay. I would pursue this far more. Yeah. No, that's fine. The service that they received. We at yeah. least mountains, because we can talk to Mountain at yeah. G7 and say yeah. what's up. Yeah, like well, Terry and I have both explained everything in writing to the CAO to try to explain because they, they were. You know, their council said that no, they already pay Valley Lines recycling. Why would they pay something extra? Well, let's see and if we can find the agreement. And we have to really agreement. try to explain. Yes, we need to find something if there is something. And so we'll just withdraw. So, so with the recycling, um, I know Derek, you went to Dauphin with Darren. How did that go with the, the checking out for uh, do with recycling with OSS and all that stuff? It was really good. We got a tour of the current facility. They're they're going to be building a, a bigger, brand new facility, so it uh, it looks promising. But we just need OSS to uh, come down on the rates. So it's, it's, it's a, if that would be that'd be a solution to get rid of all this. Yeah, and all the pony stuff here. Yeah, t Terry's let me know this is for the center. This is for the, the building capital that's of the, the center, building. right? And that's that's where those CSOs are really confused. Is Yes, they've been paying for service, but this is to pay for that. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so we have the motion uh, to move by Councillor Fries and second by Councillor Jacobson that resolution 2017.44 table discussion. All in favor? Motion moved by Councillor Fries and second by Councillor Jacobson resolved that the town of Swan River entered an agreement for the contract services of handyman operation of fire department equipment, all the way that's authorized the chief administrative officer to sign the agreement as per schedule A. Um, David Medill. David Medill. Just renewing this contract. Yeah, there's no changes to the previous one. All in favor? The motion moved by Councilor Fries and second by Councilor Jacobson resolved that pursuant to section 152.3 of the Municipal Act, Council go into committee and close the meeting to the public. All in favor?